Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we're gonna be going over something that has been much requested by viewers over on my Twitch, as well as on YouTube, and that is a guide for newer players on all the different items that are in the game that you wanna hold on to while you're first starting out. So all the confusing stuff that you're like, what does this do? I'm gonna try and cover it in this video. Quickly though, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, to the Black Desert, or you've been watching the videos on the channel, please consider subscribing. Helps to grow my channel, pushing for 100k, we're so close, and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's start off with the first item on the list that you're probably going to pick up on your adventure, and those are going to be Layla's Petals. So Layla's Petals are used in the fairy system in Black Desert. If you don't have a fairy yet, there is a quest line that you can do to get one of these fairies, and these fairies basically provide you with passive bonuses. Think of them like a sixth pet that just can't loot anything. Gives you random stats. If you don't have a fairy yet, you need to do the fairy quest line, which I have a guide on on my channel right here, and it's linked in the description below. But once you have a fairy, these Layla's petals are used to re-roll your fairy. Basically, there's four different tiers of fairy. You want the highest tier because it's got the best possible stats for bonuses. So you take these Layla's petals to the location of the Camasylvia Temple right here to the right of Heidel's, the Camasylvia Temple. You go up to this NPC right here after completing that quest line, take her quest right here, the one to repeat Mysterious Companion, and then you chat with her and you exchange the petals and then you get wings instead. These wings are then opened up by mashing spacebar and you'll get fairies that you can then use for your fairy. If the fairies you get from these rolls are no good, you take them right next door to this lady right here and turn them into Sweet Honey Wine. You can then use these Sweet Honey Wines to either upgrade the tier of a max leveled fairy or to upgrade the level of a fairy that's not reached max level yet. And that's pretty much it with Layla's Petals as well as Sweet Honey Wines. Once again, if you want more info, check out this guide. So the next item we're going to talk about is going to be the Hunter's Seal, and this is another item that you'll exchange with various NPCs. However, the one most people use is the Jeweler of Tariff. So the City of Tariff is to the left of Altanova or to the right of Heidel right here. Go to the Jeweler of this city, and if you talk to her, you'll see the option under Exchange to exchange these Hunter's Seals. Generally speaking, 99% of the time, people are going to take the Blackstone's Armor or Weapon. However, do note that at some point in your progression in Black Desert as a newer player, you're going to hear people talking about Ultimate Reform Stones, and you get those from these guys right here. So it's nothing to worry about right now as a new player, but someday when you're progressing your gear, you're gonna see it and wonder where do I get it. You craft it from using these items right here. So while we're on the topic of Blackstones, let me pick up a few of these and show you those since they are our next item we're gonna talk about. There are tons of different types of Blackstones. You have Blackstones Armor, Blackstones Weapon, Hard Black Crystal Shards, Sharp Black Crystal Shards, Magical Blackstones, Black Gems. All sorts of different Blackstones are in this game and all of them are used for upgrading different items. Now, generally speaking, if you don't find yourself super interested in getting involved in the RNG upgrading of Black Desert, you don't really need to hold on to a ton of these. You will want to hold on to Blackstone's armor and weapon because they're used for crafting various recipes, but things like hard black crystal shards that are used for upgrading higher tiered gears, same thing with the sharps, black gems that are used for upgrading life skill gear. If you don't want to deal with the RNG, you don't really need to hold on to those. And when I say you don't need to hold on to them, I mean sell them on the central marketplace. You can sell stuff on the central marketplace to other players and make money. Now, I mentioned that Blackstone armors and weapon are used in various crafting recipes. And just to show you a few of those recipes right now, which will segue into some of the other pieces that we were talking about, Blackstone armor can be combined with hard black crystal shards. Blackstone weapons can be combined with sharp black crystal shards, which I don't have in my inventory right now. But if you press the L key on the keyboard and click on the heating option, you can select the Blackstone armor and the Blackstone hard here and hit the start button you will craft one of the magical black stones of armor. And once again, this stone that we just crafted is used for upgrading higher tiers of gear. So once again, if you don't foresee yourself dealing with the RNG of this game, feel free to just go ahead and sell these on the marketplace, especially as a new player. Now, I also want to point out before we move on to the next item that generally speaking, it is more valuable to process these higher tiered items. So for example, this hard black crystal shard that we used is worth 1.5 million. This black stone's worth 118,000, so let's just say 250,000 among two of them. So that's a total of 1.7-ish million silver, and the stone that we crafted is worth 2 million. So you're netting about 300,000 silver profit by making that stone, or 300 more thousand silver than you would have made without doing this. So if you do have the time, you can make a little bit more money out of these resources as you collect them. Also want to point out that if you ever get stuck with what you can do with any of these different black stones in your inventory and want to know if you've made the final version of something, if you press the F2 key on the keyboard, you can type in whatever item. So let's just do the hard black crystal gem here that we had, the hard black crystal shard. If you click on it from the item list over here, it brings up information about it, where you can gather it, all sorts of different things that drop it. And if you scroll all the way towards the bottom, you'll be able to see the different things you can craft. 
And right here you see the Concentrated Magical Blackstone Armor, which is the item we crafted. You could also use it for Concentrated Magical Black Gem, which is another type of Blackstone, or, as we mentioned earlier, the Ultimate Armor Reform Stone. So yeah, this F2 menu with crafting notes is really, really useful as you're progressing in Black Desert. If you're ever confused about something, feel free to check it out in this. Once again, this is the F2 key on the keyboard. Now there is one more super critical crafting recipe that involves the Blackstone Armor and Weapon, and that is going to be for Kaffir Stones. So while you're out adventuring in Black Desert, you're probably going to run into some Ancient Spirit Dust, be it a mob you're grinding, some sort of gathering, even events give them away for free. So you're going to have a ton of these. Do not sell these. The biggest mistake new players make with stuff is that they sell this because they see it's worth 3,000 silver and have no idea what this text means. You're going to take five of this Ancient Spirit Dust right here, press the L key on the keyboard, click on Simple Alchemy at the top, drop that in, and either one of those two stones, Blackstone Armor or Weapon, you're going to craft that with the start button, and that is going to create a Kaffir stone. So that Ancient Spirit Dust is worth 3,000 each, Kaffir stones are worth like 3 million silver on the NA version of the game. If you're a new player, this is a great injection of cash as you're trying to progress your character. As you become more geared and more experienced in the game, you're going to realize that these Kaffir stones are the lifeblood of late game gear progression, mid to late game gear progression. They're used to give you intermediate stats as you continue to progress your gear. So early on, feel free to sell them because the injection of cash is going to allow you to advance a lot quicker than holding onto the stones would. But remember to start saving some of them as you're working towards the mid to late game stages as you continue to progress your gear. They're an awesome thing, and if you want to know more information about how they work and what they do, one of my favorite YouTubers, he has a guide walking you through it, so I'll link it down in the description below. Now I've mentioned the upgrade system a few times here in this video, let's take a look at the items you're going to get that pertain to that. If you press the comma key on the keyboard, it'll bring up your black spirit. Click on the Enhancement tab, and if you pick any item that you can upgrade, you're going to get a few different options in your inventory. First thing you're going to see is either in your Pearl inventory or your main inventory are Valk's Cry. Valk's Cry can be used up to 10 of them per Enhancement Chance, and it gives you an Enhancement stack up to plus 10 if you use 10 of them. Located always in your Pearl tab, you will see Advice of Valk's. These will give you a plus Enhancement Chance of whatever they say on them, so 100, 10, 16, whatever it says is what it does. What does this Enhancement Chance do? it increases this percent chance to enhance your gear. This falls off of the face of a cliff as you continue to progress it, and if you fail, your gear drops down a stage. Now, if you're looking around on the internet, you may also see this number referenced as a fail stack. So the total stacks that you have from your enhancements, these Valks and Valks Cries, will give you your fail stack number. Recommended fail stacks per upgrade level can be viewed on various charts. This is the one from Grumpy Green website here. If you pick on whatever tier of gear you're trying to upgrade, you can see your percent chances at the successful upgrade based on your fail stack. But yeah, this will also be linked in the description below if you want to mess around with this. Now there is a way to prevent that gear from getting downgraded if it fails, and that is through the use of Cron Stones. This is another item that you're going to get a ton of when you first start the game, and you probably don't know what to do with it and people end up selling these. Hold on to them if you want to do the RNG upgrading in this game. They are pretty much a lifesaver. You're going to need a lot of these too as you continue to progress. We're talking like thousands. So in the enhancement menu, you can socket crown stones in and it will prevent the downgrade from occurring if you fail. If you do fail, you're going to reduce the durability of whatever you have that you were trying to upgrade, and that is recovered using memory fragments. Memory fragments are obtained from a whole bunch of different activities in this game, like scroll bosses or darkproof bosses. You'll also get them free for login rewards and things like that, so another item to hold on to because they have a lot of use, and even if you don't plan on doing any RNG upgrading, they sell for a lot of money, and they're also used to reset your skill add-ons. So another nifty item to hold on to, at least to some of them, if you're not going to use them for upgrading. So that's going to do it for all the stuff that flows really, really nicely with each other. Now we just have all the random crap that you get for free. So we're just going to run through a bunch of these. First, books of training skill or training combat are used for AFK training your character while you're away from your PC. So they come in different denominations of time. You go to the one of the training NPCs, which is typically the NPC Jamie Drucker. However, depending on your city, the person might have a different name. But just find this guy, he'll have Scarecrows, you click on a book, you click on Scarecrows, and you get EXP. Combat or skill EXP. Next up, we have these fruit juices here. These fruit juices are used to boost your various fitness stats. So we have Breath, Strength, and Health. Breath increases your stamina, Strength increases your maximum carry weight, and Health increases your maximum HP, as well as your maximum resource, even though it's not listed there. So this bar underneath your health bar gets increased by the health stat. So you just drink these juices, and you can see they provide you with EXP to the EXP bars. While we're on the topic of juices, we're going to take a look at the various elixirs and buffs that you're going to get from playing. So there's a ton of these that you get for login rewards. You have things like Giant's Draft, Beast Drafts, Verdure Drafts, Conk's Elixir, 
Perfume of Swiftness, and Perfume of Courage. These are pretty self-explanatory, you can see the stats that they boost underneath them. Next item we're going to take a look at is going to be the Dark Spirits Greed. These are redeemed at Skill Instructors. If you go to a Skill Instructor, click on the Exchange tab, you will see a whole bunch of different things you can exchange with them. Typically, I use mine for cooking utensils because I like to do cooking, but there's all sorts of different things you can exchange for, as you can see right here. Next up, we have keys. These are used for interesting scenarios. There are three different tiers, bronze, silver, and gold. You need one of each to complete an adventure log, but beyond that, they don't have a ton of use. They're used to open chests throughout the world. Generally, the chests are kind of scam box RNG boxes. You can bid them if you want, but make sure to save one of each. And the last one we're going to talk about are Shikatu Seals. These are a login reward that you get every single month. Save these up and redeem the item of your choice on that list. The only other random item that you're going to get are Massive Pure Magic. This is used for upgrading Black Star gear. So if you're trying to upgrade your Black Star gear when you're working towards your late game, you're going to need this. So make sure to save these as you continue to play along. And with that, guys, I think we've gone through all of the random stuff that appears in your inventory in Black Desert. So I do hope that this is going to help you out here to sort your inventory. A lot of cool stuff to hold on to. I know the video is a bit longer, but I tried to give you an overview of what each of these things do at a high level. I know I didn't cover it in perfect detail, but just to give you an idea of what they do. Anyway, if this video is going to help you to progress here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. Pushing for 100k would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.